Okay, it's five o'clock in the afternoon and I'm finally making it out of the house. Today I just had the worst time getting in the shower and getting energy, but finally around two o'clock I had some chicken soup and some orange juice and now I feel really, really good. So now I'm going to Ulta and Kohl's and wherever, so come on. So I have a $10 Kohl's cash to use and there's one or two things at Ulta I might want. My husband just said get whatever for my birthday. He, he didn't give me anything specific. He just said to, I can just go buy myself something and I'm like okay. So I got my new shades on. My husband doesn't even know because they look exactly like my Target ones. <laughs> but you know, I just wanted these ones. Okay, I just got out of Ulta and I spent a pretty penny and all I bought was foundation and a little eyeshadow and some cotton puffs and something else dumb and small. My husband's going to be like, what? But it's my birthday present, so that's just what women have to do to look good. So now we're taking it on into Kohl's. All right, well, Kohl's didn't have anything, but I was just at Kohl's, remember, last week, and I bought a few shirts, so... Eh. So now I'm going to go to Subway and get us our dinner. And I'm not feeling that good again. I'm just kind of weak and tired. I think I just need to eat something again. This just sucks being so sick. It's been so nice because today was only 73 degrees, and that's what it is right now. And then I think tomorrow's going to be in the low 70s, and then it's going to get up into the high 90s by the end of the week next week. I'm loving this cooler weather. It just feels so good. I'm ready for fall. And we are now approaching Subway Subs. There's AutoZone if anybody's interested. I love the way Subways smell. They smell so good. But then you come out of there smelling like baked bread. Which I guess isn't too bad, but still. And that's what we're getting. The turkey, bacon, avocado. Wow, that didn't take very long. I'm already out of there. I think I was only in there for like five minutes. All right. Off we go. I'm starving. So here's my turkey, avocado, bacon. Yummy. Yummy. Hopefully my bacon's not boingy. Mm. Good. Okay. Mm. Okay, so I'm in my bathroom and I thought I'd show you what I got at Ulta. I didn't get too much, but it was still a lot of money. Okay, the first thing I got were these teardrop sponges. They're exfoliating cleansing sponges for your face. They're kind of like a buff puff and I really, really enjoy these. And these will last a couple weeks or so and then I just throw it away and get a new one. I also got another telescopic shocking extensions. Um, this is in waterproof and I wanted to also get another Miss Manga but they didn't have any more waterproof so I just got this one. But I really really like this. 
The next thing I got, which was the most expensive thing, was this Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I get the color Light Sand, and it used to just be called Light, but then they changed the name to Light Sand. I love this foundation. And here's the Tarte brush that I got to go with it a long time ago. I got this, I got both of these off of QVC a long time ago. It was a set, and you can still get them as a set, but it's so much cheaper to get it off QVC with the brush rather than just going and buying them each separately. So if you wanna start out with this brush and this foundation, I would recommend getting the, the set off of QVC and then just buying your, your foundation separately at Ulta or wherever. And I already have one, but it's, it's probably halfway done or maybe more than halfway, so I wanted to get another one because I really like it. This is my messy bathroom. And then the last thing I got was this Ulta Pure Color. It's a pigment. And it's called sepia. This is the color of sepia. And it is so, so pretty. Let me open this up. I've heard some other YouTubers talk about this product. There we go. And they really liked it. And so I saw this color and I absolutely loved it. And it has this little stopper and a little hole. And so it's not all flyaway messy like a lot of the pigments are. But this is so pretty. And I'll swatch it, but it also reminds me a lot of in the Naked 2 palette. It is very similar to the YDK. So let me see here. I'm going to swatch this. Okay, hold on. Okay, so here's the pigment. It's so, so pretty. The camera doesn't do it justice. It's really foily and really shiny. But I don't think it's too over the top. And now I'm going to put the YDK next to it and show you. Okay, so the YDK is right here. And then the sepia is right there. So the sepia is a little darker and the YDK has got a little more of a red undertone to it, but they're both very similar. But I am just loving this. I am going to have to do a tutorial on it, I think, because it's just so pretty. I can't wait. So there it is. It's that one right there. So yeah, that's all I got was four things at Ulta and it cost me $65 just for my mascara. This pigment was $10. These were three and that was $38. It's pretty disgusting, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? But I just think when it comes to foundation, you really have to use what works for you. Because foundation, that's your face, man. We're talking. That's big. <laughs> so did you hear that? That was my silly husband making his little fart noise for the benefit of my video. <laughs> He does that, and I never expect it, and I start laughing so hard. He's so funny. Okay, well, on that note, I guess I will shut it down. So, thanks for watching. I'm glad I was able to get out of the house today. And tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be able to go to the grocery store. I don't have anything in this house to eat. So, if I do go... I'll take you along. All right. Well, thanks for joining me today, and I hope you have a great night. You know what to do. You know what to do.
Thanks, everyone. Good night.